what is going on guys welcome to another amazing tutorial and in this lesson I want to concentrate on the topic of force because remember in the last lesson I talked about a watermelon dropping out of the plane and there are different forces acting on it the force of the plane and gravity was bringing it down but I never really went into depth about what force is so let's go ahead and define it before we move on first of all force is a vector quantity now remember any vector quantity has both a quantity or some people call these magnitudes basically the size of something and a direction a direction where it's moving so let me go ahead and show you an example of force say we have two trucks here's a truck let me try to draw an awesome truck wow that is a pretty terrible truck I try to make this one a little better we have a truck that's going this way and we have another truck eh, it's a little bit better okay maybe not and we have another truck that's going this way now let me fix my arrow now these trucks are held together with a chain and see this yep that is a chain right there now one way that we can measure force is in tons so we can say that truck A might as well label these bad boys truck number A was moving left or we'll say west with a force of five tons and truck B was moving east or right with a force of three tons so basically each of these trucks both have a quantity which is five and three and a direction which is left right east west however you want to name it so to calculate the next um, I said next not the next force the next thing we need to do is calculate the force of the total system the net force of these objects put together now in order to do that we typically use something called vector addition and I'm gonna be teaching you guys about vector addition in the next tutorial but it's basically taking both forces and adding them together so this is a really simple example so we can just do this one in our head whenever we have an object moving five tons or pulling this chain with a pressure of five tons to the left and we tie it to a truck trying to pull it three tons to the right obviously this truck truck number B has a weaker force so we end up with a total net force of two tons in the left direction so again just remember that in order to calculate the net force I keep saying next net force and net force pretty much means the total force of the entire system what you do is you take this force and you add it with this force right here and adding forces is actually not as easy just putting a plus sign in the middle and guessing what ways it can move like I said in the next tutorial I'm gonna show you guys an awesome way to calculate the forces of two different objects or more and that is called vector addition so that's what you have to look forward to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time